imagine it has been a hugely busy week for me uh two more weeks and my girl's gonna get married and it's just been crazy so i came out made a quick intro video this week uh, i had some interesting stories some fun things that happened this week but um what i'm going to share with you this week is a sculpture piece that i am working on and uh, i did make another item but that is going to be showing up a little bit later on the week that the week of the wedding because i probably won't get out my studio that week so hope you guys enjoy and i'll catch you at the end Okay, so this is 15. The, the tallest is 15 and the widest is 15. The widest is 15, strangely enough, and this is almost 16, so it's like 15 and 3 quarters. So what I'd like to do is make the 3 quarters part the top. So if I, just so to help me remember, I'm going to turn this around. And then think about how I can make this form cool.
Well, that is it for this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I Let me share my quick journal entry at the end of all the, the, an interesting thing happened this week and that's, it's the reason why I was making the picture, but I'm gonna share that at the end. And we will see you guys next week. Here's a photo, little quick, very quick. I didn't take very many pictures this week, but here's a quick photo uh, diary and then my journal entry for the week at the end. Okay, for the journal entry, uh, this is where I get to reflect back on my week and what happened in my studio. And actually as a hobby potter, it's reflecting back on what's happening in my world. And as you know, the wedding, getting ready for that, um, I did not get out here until Friday into my studio. And um, I needed a little push to get out here because there was a couple things I needed to make. Um, one of them was a cake top for my daughter's wedding cake because she says, I'd like it if you made the cake top, it would everything would match and that would be great. Oh, I was so nervous, I really was. I thought we had that all figured out, but we didn't. And if she doesn't like it to the end, um, well, I'm gonna buy one <laughs> because it really is a lot. That to me was more pressure than making 180 pieces just because it's a keepsake. And, um, <clears throat> and she's kind of picky, so if they don't like it, that's fine. I'll just give them the, the piece but I'm gonna share that the week of the wedding uh, because I'm not gonna be out here that week, I'm sure of it, and I'm not gonna plan on it um, unless I need some kind of retreat, which is what my studio is. But a funny story happened with this picture. <clears throat> Excuse me, a little bit. Uh, the picture that you saw me make today is actually a commissioned piece from a gal I met Thursday. Um, long story, hopefully short, I got, a, I got a phone call from Nicole, and I missed the phone call. And I know Nicole, and she's an artist, and when her doors are closed in her studio, you don't go in. But I went downtown to the Cater, and it was really close to where her, her shop is. And, and I thought, you know, I'm gonna stop by, and I've never ever done this. I've known Nicole, how long have I known you, Nicole? <clears throat> more than a few years and I've never just stopped by for no re for without announcing myself or calling in advance because that's to me for an artist you need to do that if she's busy I don't want to interrupt well I was at the bottom of her stairs and I the the drapes were closed and I looked and I was like oh shoot okay anybody up there nothing so I thought oh shoot but I know she's up there because it's closed so I I um, call her up and she says you need to get down here there's somebody I want you to meet and I thought, okay, that sounds good. Um, I'm at the bottom of your stairs. <laughs> and so she started laughing, just, well, come up. This gal was trying to buy I gave, uh, two of the pictures, I had the sculpture pictures I had made and given to Nicole as gifts. And, and Nicole says, no, I, I can't sell them. They're, um, they, uh, they were a gift to me. I can't sell them, but maybe she has some. And I happened to be at the bottom of the, I happened to be at the bottom of the stairs. And, uh, the lady said, you know, I showed her pictures on Instagram, and she goes, I love them. She goes, I'll buy them. She goes, bring them to my restaurant in a half an hour. I'm all cool. So it was, it was just a very interesting addition to my day because I wasn't thinking of doing that. But having, a, what do they call that when opportunity and preparedness meet? Okay, being prepared is half the battle. I wasn't thinking of selling anything, and I sold two, and I got another, uh, I got another piece right here that I'm making for her, so a commission piece. I don't do those. I'll tell you, I don't do commission pieces because of the same reason why I didn't want to make my daughter's cake top. Oh, just too much. I was so stressed making it, but I, I think she likes it. We'll have to see. It's not done yet, but I'm gonna fire that this week, glaze it, and it has to be ready so it can go on the top of the cake. Hydrangea will go on the inside. So uh, anyway, yeah, that is it for my week. Thank you guys for watching. And I will share the making of that cake top the week of the wedding because I'm probably not gonna be in the studio that week. So uh, anyway, here you go. Thank you guys so much. See you next time.